if you have an HP 7155 printer, you bought a refurbished one, maybe on Amazon or something, and you can't get it to work because you need startup cartridges, this is what you need to do. This worked for me. It took forever to get HP to respond. And when I say forever, I got the printer on a Monday. I fooled around it with it on Tuesday, couldn't get it to work. Thursday, um, I messaged them, nothing. Had to register, kept getting kicked out. I had to keep registering. It wasn't until uh, Friday night they sent me this message in. I'm in their pro platform. And so you send them a message and you'll see here that they have a message. So these are the steps. This works for me. If you have an HP 7155 photo printer that you purchased refurbished, this was the only way I was able to get it work. It didn't come with the startup cartridges. It just came with two ink cartridges. And then for um, the people that buy it off of Amazon, the person that did refurbishing or that company, they say, don't contact HP, contact them. They did not respond back to me sending them any messages like, yo, this thing isn't working or whatever. So they're going to get a review based on that. But these are the steps. It doesn't look like it works. Like when you hit the buttons, they don't light up. But it does work. So make sure you follow these steps. And I'm going to turn the camera so that you can pause it and look at it. But this got it to do the first startup print. I'm going to see if I can do an actual print. Okay, so I got some images that I'm going to print, and they ended up printing. They did pretty good. So that's what you need to do. You need to make sure that if you can't message them, whatever, just follow the directions that I gave you, which is what they sent me, which I find so weird because instead of them just putting what you need on there, this is what they do. They you know, like get back to the messages. So if you went to the community... Go to the community and then put in seven seven one five five. Like you hit printers, and I could have did this on a different video on a different video way, but I didn't. And so I just type in here seven one five five, and this is gonna be the first bypass setup. So everybody asked this question, and then they're like, "Oh, we need to send you a private message on how to do it. We'll send you a private message." came out how do i bypass that nope they don't tell you you gotta send oh thanks send a private message all of them sending a private message they don't just post what the check your private message for the steps i think that's so stupid why don't they just put it up there so you can stop bugging them which keeps that area from getting clogged but whatever as far as requests and, and whatnot but nobody ever posts what actually is done and somebody was like so frustrated besides myself so it's it's terrible but that's the steps i'll go back to it here just pause where you need it oops wi-fi kind of slow pause um use it i'm gonna turn the camera Alright, have a great day.